Welcome to the Colin McRae flat out video series. In this video we'll be trying to complete a stage in Argentina with the damaged Subaru Impreza S4. So in this scenario we are in Argentina and it is the 1998 running of that rally. This is probably one of um, the most famous uh, Colin stories. Um, so Colin clipped one of these lovely rocks at the side of the road uh, on the previous stage and done quite a bit of damage to the right rear um, of the Subaru Impreza S4 and the, the tracking of the wheel was completely out. Uh, it, was, it was crabbing up the road and um, on the road section between the last stage and this stage, uh, Colin and Nicky Grist repaired the damaged track control arm, um, which was bent like a banana. <laughs> they had to remove it completely from the car and they were trying to straighten this substantial piece of, of metal um, and they were getting nowhere. They had tried uh, pinning it onto the car and, and trying to bend it up with their arms and that wasn't working. Uh, but then they came up with a solution of getting a, a massive rock and placing the, the arm on top of a rock and then just hammering it with this rock. Uh, and eventually they, they they didn't, well, they, they straightened it up, it wasn't perfect. Um, so we are driving through the stage with uh, the arm still not 100%, um, which means we have to be careful. Uh, but yeah, it was a, a proper Colin McRae moment. And, um, you know, a, a driver that's able to repair the car uh, is one that will win championships and, um, being able to repair a car yourself is a is a good uh, a good thing a good trait for a driver to have. A really cool thing about that story was Colin went into the, the next stage and and won the stage with a, a car that wasn't performing um, at 100 percent. So our objective for this scenario is to finish in first place despite having the damage to this car. This is the Subaru Impreza S4. It's one of the new cars included in the Colin McRae expansion. And it's um, a fan favorite. Uh, it's one that was in the original Colin McRae rally game. And it has, well, it, it, it gets confused um, and is sometimes referred to as a 22B, but that was the special edition road car, whereas this is the um, Subaru Impreza S4. It was actually Subaru's only two-door uh, rally car that was built by ProDrive. All the other cars were four doors, um, so it makes this one different. Um, a lot of people would say this is still their favorite um, Subaru rally car of all time. So we're making our way through this stage, just trying to keep it pinned between the rocks uh, without making any big mistakes, but it is tricky with the, the damage that we're carrying. Um, because you need to be so precise in between all the rock faces and whenever you've got some component of the suspension or steering that's not correct or it's damaged, it makes your job very really difficult. As you can see, I just made a mistake there. Um, but we're going through a stage at a good speed. Um, we've had all green sectors so far, so it's going well for us.
Start of the stage is pretty technical with a lot of hairpins and then the middle is a bit faster and more open and now we're starting to come into more um, tight technical hairpins that are long and, and going back on themselves so it's um, it's a waiting game really you need to be you need to have good patience um, not to get on the throttle too early and keep the car rotating in mid corner because like if you come on the throttle too early like there it just pushed the front of the car out I almost clipped that rock on the outside But it's been a fairly clean run so far. Um, we're, we're miles ahead in terms of um, our other competitors. So we're on course to pass this scenario. Another thing with Argentina is just how bumpy it is on the actual road surface. Uh, it's just, it's trying to pick your braking point because um, if you leave it too late and you hit a bump, the car can maybe not completely leave the ground, but it just gets light on the suspension. It makes it more difficult to load the transfer of the weight and get the grip on the front wheels.